Hi, I am putting together my Teams in Microsoft Teams, and so far I've put together four of my classes, and I wanted to show you what it looked like as I set up my fifth class. So I'm gonna walk you through. Um, my district auto-populates my Teams for me, so they auto-sync my roster into Teams. If you needed to create your own team, um, right here in the top right-hand corner, it says Join or Create Team, you could click that enter in your students, you know, Microsoft accounts individually and create a team. Pretty simple. But again, if your district syncs them for you, it makes it that much easier. So you can see these are more of staff member teams that I'm a part of. But starting here, these are my class periods. So I have two geometry classes. I have one algebra honors class and I have two regular algebra classes. And when they get synced, they just say algebra one. I went ahead in and I added these icons and I added the period at the end. So I'm going to set up my last class that I need to. It's my first period of the day. It's this one here. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my triple dots where it says more options and I'm going to edit team. And I'm going to literally walk you through exactly what I just did for my other two classes. Um, I already checked the roster on this team to make sure it really was my period one kids. Otherwise, you're not going to know. I also chose for my algebra CP classes that I wanted to use the um, calculator icon. You can use any of these icons that are here. It doesn't matter. But I like to use the same icon for the different types of courses. So then once I just edited that, you can see this is the new name. It says 20 students are waiting to join. When a new team is created for you right now as a safety thing, I can edit my team as much as I want, and then once I click activate, my students will be able to see it on their end. I'm going to just go ahead and click activate right now. It says this can't be undone, so if you ever get that message, just be extra careful. And I'm going to go ahead and just activate it. So right now, this is like a blank canvas. The regular stuff is already posted here, but I'm going to personalize this to exactly how I want my team to be. So after I already set up the icon that I wanted and I labeled it with the class period. I'm going to go over here to these triple dots and I'm going to add a channel. So what I've decided for right now is I'm going to be adding in a separate attendance channel because for remote learning, keeping attendance daily is going to be really tedious and I don't want that to really clutter up my main feed. I'm going to click this off where it says automatically show this channel in everyone's channel list. Uh, that way, when a student opens it up, that channel will be very obvious there on the left-hand side. It won't be something that they have to do a drop-down menu to find. And so I'm adding that channel. And I haven't really decided yet if I'm going to put a daily poll in there or maybe a question that they have to answer, and that's their attendance for the day. I'm also going to add in a channel for help. Um, another teacher had suggested that it was really good to kind of have a channel for students to go to, ask questions. I can chime in and answer questions, or maybe students can even um, chime in and answer questions there. And the last channel that I'm going to add in is for quizzes and tests. Now, when I do quizzes and tests, I put them through assignments, and they're usually organized that way. But I also want to drop them into the channel so, again, it doesn't clutter up my main feed of my daily assignments. Okay. So those are the channels right now that I'm going to have. So the general channels are automatically there, and I just put these other three in. If I decide that one of these kind of isn't working, I can always get rid of it, and I can always add more channels. Okay, so now after I added in the channels that I want to do, what I need to do is I need to go back to my general channel, and this is where my posts are going to be. Um, I'm going to go to my files tab. So I'm going to click on upload class materials, and what I want to do is I want to start putting in all of my PDF files of notes. So I'm not going to add a new folder here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click in class materials because this is a protected folder. It says read only class files go here. Students can read these files, but only teachers can edit. I don't want kids to accidentally delete anything. And now in that folder, I'm going to create a new folder and call it chapter one notes. And because I already have all of my notes scanned for the first chapter, it's going to be really easy now that I made this folder. I'm going to click into the folder and I'm going to upload my files. And I'm going to add in my first seven pages. So all the students in this period one class 
are now going to simply have access, it's just taking a moment to load, all of my notes for the first seven lessons, which is my chapter one. And you can see all of the titles are here. Just takes a moment to load. And you don't have to, you know, dump in a whole chapter. Um, you could add them in daily, but I don't see anything wrong with them seeing things in advance. I could go ahead and make, you know, dump in all of my chapters if I really wanted to. So that's all I'm going to really put in for files right now. Class notebook, I'm not going to touch right now. Assignments, I'm not going to touch right now until the very first day. Grades, no. But what I do want to do is I want to add more tabs at the top here. So for my algebra classes, there's going to be three really important websites that we're going to be using throughout the year. And I want them all housed here. I don't want to have to drop links in every single time. So when I go to add a tab, um, I'm going to click website. Now, the first website I'm going to put in is YouTube, but this YouTube is for a specific YouTube video. What I want to do is I actually want to put my YouTube channel on here. So I'm going to click on website. I'm going to title this YouTube. And I could paste the link, but I'm just going to type it in um, youtube.com slash C slash I teach algebra. And that way, I'm not going to post a channel about this tab because that's going to clutter up my feed. Um, but I'm going to click save. And so what that does is it puts this YouTube uh, link right here and it completely just embeds my YouTube channel. And so you'll see it's going to load up. Students will be able to surf this. And Hi everyone, welcome. welcome. Let me pause that. They'll be able to go right through, but it's as simple as that. So that YouTube link is just simply going to stay there and they'll be able to go to my playlists right from here and then find whatever chapter they're currently working on, which is awesome. Something else that I want to embed right in is my Quizlet um, page. But again, if I click on Quizlet here, it's for just a particular study set. So instead I wanna add website and after I add website, I'm going to type in Quizlet and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put in my account so that students will be able to go directly to it, click save. And so now my Quizlet tab, just in one click when kids are in my team, um, it still gives them the ability to log into their account, which they definitely need to do, but they're going to be able to be um, right at my Quizlet page and access all of my reviews for the entire year. The last website that I want to add in um, is IXL because all the students will have IXL accounts. And I'm not just putting in IXL, I need to put in sign in slash OBPS because all of my students will have that specific account. Um, so if you are using IXL, you're gonna wanna make sure that in your district, you put it whatever at the end um, you may need. And you'll see then that opens directly up to the accounts that are set up for my students. You'll see it's already set up with my township. The last thing that I'm going to add in at the top is something that the students are not going to see, but it's something I get to see, and it's the Insights app. So you're going to click Insights, and what Insights will do is it will give you all of the data about when students have logged in, how much time they were spending, and it gives you all this data. And it says students don't have the access, have access to this tab, only I will see it. So I'm not gonna post that channel to the tab, just like I didn't post it in any of the others. And once students actually start logging in, I'll be able to check everything out. So I added in my links at the top. Again, students are gonna see YouTube, Quizlet, and IXL. They're gonna see all of these channels. But now I want to go back to posts because what I need to do to start things off is I want to say, hey, everyone, please check out my welcome letter before we meet. And this is because I want to drop in my welcome letter or my syllabus. So I'm going to upload this um, and something else I'm going to be able to show you is that when you upload a welcome letter, I could do this post in each one of my algebra classes individually. I'm going to also just dump it into class materials so it stays there. Um, but what I can do is if you click on this first tool, you'll see it. you can post in multiple channels. So I have three algebra classes. So I want this note and this PDF file to go to all three. So I'm going to click on post in multiple channels, select channels. 
And then this is going, I'm going to click on my algebra honors class, send it to them. I'm going to click on my algebra period 12, send it to them. Notice I'm clicking in general. And then if I click on period one, which is the team I'm in right now, you'll see it's already checked off. So update. So this is going to actually get sent. I need to just move myself to those three channels, which is excellent. And I'm going to send it. And now it's here. So when a student logs in into my team, they will see this. They'll be able to see the PDF file. And if I was to click into my period 12 class, you will see that it's also there and it's in my other class as well. I'm going to be adding more things to my teams, of course, as time goes. Anytime I do a quiz or a test through Microsoft Forms, I always click on assignments to add that in. But I just wanted to make a video to show you how easy it was to basically get yourself set up right from the beginning and then continue on from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.